What is up guys? So in my last video I mentioned and I was considering going for Bowfin in a future video and well, today's the day. Last night, kind of spur of the moment type thing, I just thought I had some time in the morning so I might as well go out and try catching Bowfin for you guys. You guys seem interested in that so hopefully you're going to enjoy the video. I had a lot of fun. It started off pretty slow but quickly picked up really quick. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get into it. Alright guys, we just got to our spot for Bofin. Uh, you can see there's lots of lily pads, kind of like a big marsh, lots of stumps everywhere. It's really only a couple feet deep and it's, you know, it's a really small area. But there's lots of Bofin here and so I'm going to start off throwing this little topwater frog. I've actually seen a few Bofin surfacing around just randomly. It doesn't look like they're eating, it looks like they're just kind of coming up and gulping air almost or whatever. I'm not sure what they're doing. But we're going to throw this little frog out here and uh, get a backlash on the first cast. And we're going to try to catch some Bofin though. So I'm hopefully, I'm kind of feeling optimistic just because I am seeing some bowfin surface and so that's telling me that, you know, they're being a little more active and hopefully they're going to bite the top water. So let's give it a shot. It'd be sweet to get some on lures and not live bait, but whatever. Let's see what happens. Got one. Oh my gosh, got one, got one, guys. Yes, finally. On the frog, on the frog, guys. Yes, that's awesome. Is that bass? No, that's gotta be a bofin. Get out of here, get out of there. That is a bass. I didn't think there were bass in here. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> that's crazy. It's a solid largemouth. It's like a good two pounder. <laughs> got the little lily pads. Got that frog right there. I totally thought they were just bofin in here. That's all I've ever heard of people catching out of here. Never heard of a bass. Figured there would be some in here. I just never heard there were, so I assumed people, you know, knew what they're talking about. But hey, nice looking bass. That's kind of cool. I want a bofin, but hey, a little bass on top water. Can't complain with that. See you, dude. <laughs> That's crazy. Sweet. All right, guys, we got our first bofin on, finally. Got him. Got him. Keep him out from all this stuff, crap. No, 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 no. Oh man, he is making a bunch of swirls. There we go, awesome. First bowfin, guys. I can see him right there. Had to switch to live bait, and it's been, oh no, 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 no. Okay, he's on, he's on, he's on. Got like 100 pounds of seaweed with him. Man, I've been seriously waiting for like an hour at least. That's a good sized bowfin. That's a nice bowfin, that's a nice bowfin. Nice. No, 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 dang it. Well, there goes the bowfin. I just got my foot soaking wet. My pants are all, are all muddy now. Uh, I was holding them by the gill, they flopped. Got in the water. I, I showed them off a little bit at least, but that kind of sucks. Took me an hour to get them in, or took me an hour to get one, and then I lose them so quickly. Oh well, at least we got him in and I gotta touch him. So it counts as a fish. Let's get another one. There we go guys, another, another bowfin right after the last one. Got him. There we go. Keep, dang it, you can get right back in this stuff. Oh, we're gonna pull him right back in. It's a small one, real small one. Well, at least we got a second fish. It's just like 10 minutes after the last one. So maybe it's picking up, we'll see. Let's get some bigger size though. See you dude. All right, guys, we finally got another fish on. Jeez, and he comes right back to the weeds. Why do they do that? Oh, no, not under there. Oh, I hate when they wrap up in the weeds. They come, like, right here right away, which I guess is good for them because they get off a lot of times. Not good for me, though. He's still on. He feels like a good one. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, come on. There we go. Another bo- Oh! Are you kidding me? That was probably- not, I don't know if he was the biggest. He was a good fat one though. I don't know about length, but dang it. All right guys, I got another. This is awesome. Like definitely they're turning on because now I've gotten four bites really quick. Oh geez, my drag, what is wrong? My drag was super loose. What the heck? Oh, cause I loosened it last time. Now he's right back in the weeds. Why do they keep doing? Are you kidding me? Why do they keep? Ah, uh, I saw that one. He wasn't real big. Same spot, these, these weeds are killing me, man. Two for four now. So our ratio quickly is going down the drain. Let's get out and try to land the next one. All right guys, another fish on. I think it's about time we get her. 
You see the bobber going? Another fish on. Let's get in the water so we don't lose it. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Oh, that's nice. Oh no, never mind. I thought it was huge. I thought it was really big for a second there. It's about the average. They, they all seem to be about this size. I'm sure there's some bigger ones and obviously some smaller ones. Okay, dude. Okay. There we go. Nice arm length bowfin. Pretty sweet looking fish. See you later. Okay, so things are really heating up. I mean, I'm catching a lot more fish all of a sudden for some reason right now. So uh, I'm gonna take advantage of that. I think I'm gonna like, maybe try to catch one more fish on live bait. And then I'm gonna try throwing the frog a little more around these pads because if they're hidden so all of a sudden, if they're hitting the live bait really well, I'm hoping maybe they're hitting the lure decently or something. Hopefully I can just get one or two on the lure on the frog. That'd be pretty cool. So I'm gonna try to get one more, land one more fish on live bait and switch over. There we go, guys. We got a fish on. I saw him come up and swirl on that. That was pretty sweet. He's like sitting right here. Okay, drag is tight this time. Got him. Oh, there we go. Let's, okay, now it's time to keep him out of this stuff. Oh, and I'm sinking, and I'm sinking. He's pulling line. I probably mean it leeches all over me. Come on, dude, come on. Let's cooperate a little bit. Let's cooperate. I know that's the last thing you want, but it's the first thing I want. There we go, come on, come on, come on. This is good looking, looking good. I touched him, he's mine. Awesome, now let's get him away from the water before I lose him. All right, here he is, not a big bowfin by any means, but it's my third one landed, my fifth one hooked, so that's pretty sweet. Let's get him back in the water, catch some more. See ya, dude. All right, guys, it's froggy time. Let's see if we can get one. Oh. Good, good start. Oh, 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 just had one right behind it. I, oh man, dang it. I wish I would have paused it for like another second. He was right behind it, must have been, because I twitched it and I saw a huge swirl from right behind it as if I scared him away when I twitched it. He must have been right behind it, following it. That sucks. Maybe next one will bite. All right, well, unfortunately, all I brought with me today was this, this single frog. I don't know why I did that. I should have brought other lures. Maybe I should have started throwing this earlier when I was getting a bunch of fish instead of catching a bunch of fish on live bait. But anyways, whatever, we're gonna switch back to live bait. I think I'm gonna fish right here instead though. Anyways, let's get out there and throw some more minnows. Oh, we got a fish on, guys. There we go. Coming right towards the reeds, as always. Ah, please, really, why do you have to do this? Why do you have to do, do this? You stupid bowfin. Come on, get out of here. There we go, there we go. There we go. Oh, there we go, a little jump for us. That's what we're talking about. Another bowfin. All right, you little crazy dude, see you later. He's happy. At least now he is. We got another bowfin on. No, it's not a bowfin, that's what I'm talking about. The stupid green sunfish. I mean, it's a pretty big one actually. But actually, this is a pumpkin seed, I think. Mm, I'm not sure what it is. But either way, this is what I'm talking about. These big dudes, they uh, eat all my minnows. Kind of annoying to keep messing with my bobber. All right, guys, got another fish on. And doesn't feel like a little blue girl. Feels like a bowfin. Awesome. Oh man. There we go. Another bowfin, guys. That is awesome. Finally, these guys have been really eluding me la the last hour or two. But uh, finally, we got another one. That's awesome. Thanks for the fight, dude. 
dang it, drag again. Keep forgetting to tighten that back up. But I put my hand over the spool and I think I hooked them that time decently. Uh, let's see, it looks like a good one, looks like a good one. Come on, you can fight. Shoot. Oh, and lily pads. Oh, come on. Come on, get out of here, get out of here. That's a nice one, that's a nice one. Glad we got that one in. I was, he had gotten those lily pads. I thought for sure, I only have 10 pound line on. Oh well, somehow we got them out. Well. Well, okay, that wasn't a very good release. Whatever, he's in the water, he's gone. Awesome. All right guys, so I'm gonna real quick go over the rig I'm using. The live bait rig is real simple. I don't, I don't really like using live bait, but it's really a lot, more, really effective way to catch these bowfin. And I've not, I've tried lures here and I've not caught that many. But anyways, I got a little treble hook here. I'm not sure what it is, like maybe like a number six treble hook. Pretty small, two split shots, and a little sliding bobber. It goes about three and a half feet deep. There's a dorsal fin right here. I'll just take like a scale or two off of the tip of the hook and then pull it right through, make sure the end is all the way through there. And then you got your little bait right there. Well, that's gonna be a wrap on this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun making, very different fishing for me. I never really fish with live bait. I'm not a huge fan with it, but obviously it works pretty well. Um, and bowfin fishing, obviously, I don't do that very much either. If you guys would like to see more videos with bowfin, I can try and make more. There's just not a whole bunch of spots where I know that you can consistently catch them. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to let me know what you guys thought of it in the comments below, as well as giving the video a thumbs up. It means a lot to me. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.